Hey guys, Dave and Corey here at Zap Talk. It's a big week. I'm very excited about this week. I know you're very excited about this week. You got your little uh, Spider-Man outfit on. Have some decency, <laughs> Corey. <laughs> you're leaving it open, dude. Come on, it's like an advertisement. You're, like, nice. you're, you're encouraging it. It's like a tease. Don't cover so up Just because like I'm dressed this way? <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Anyways. Get them, Internet. Superior Spider-Man 31 hits. This Why is this a big deal? It's the last one. It's the final issue of Superior Spider-Man. Is it the final issue of Superior Spider-Man because it doesn't sell well? No, it sells like crazy. It's Marvel has to bank off the movie, which is a Sony production. So, and all the way to do that is they're going to release Amazing Spider-Man number one the same week the movie comes out. And Peter Parker's back. It's the news. Everybody buys a lot of books. And it's cool. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. And Dan Slott writes a fun news story for us. Yep. Very cool. your favorite wall crawler. So, we're going to find out who Green Goblin is in this one. Yep. He's unmasked. I think it's Doc Ock. I'm thinking it is, too. Because the whole grave thing, and I just think it is. There's a big dent in his chest. I think it's Doc Ock, because how else do we know? Old dent chest. So, which would be kind of neat. It would be kind of a nice little mm. new twist to the saga. So, we'll, we'll see. Maybe for that Scooby-Doo moment. I just don't think it's I don't think it's Norman Osborn. I do not. I think it's too easy of a guess. I think it's Doc Ock. It's at the point where if it was Norman Osborn, I would be surprised. That would be more surprising to me. Okay. But I would, you know. Most people I talk cool. to in the store, their guess is Norman. It's not going to be Norman, so. But, um, you know, Peter Parker returns, as you know, at the end of issue 30. And it's he's the real superior Spider-Man. So we're going to see what everything unfolds in this one. I know you're, you've been reading every issue of this. Uh, every single what one. What do you think is going to happen in this one? You have like a, with the whole taking down the Goblin Nation thing. You know what? The reason it's so good is that I don't really know. Okay. Because there's so many characters in play right now. Like, literally every character that's had to do with this entire series is is out there doing something right now. So one issue is a lot to tie... There's a lot to tie up. So... But he can do it. He's done it before. So yep. we'll see what happens. He's so got a lot of cool variants. As I know there's a uh, Campbell variant. They're, you know, of course, going to promote the crap out of this book. Which is good. So it's gonna be uh, you're gonna break the bank with this book if you buy all the covers. So, so do it. It's really, <laughs> it's really cool. Hulk number one. Um, the uh, you know this what was it? Indestructible. Indestructible just ended. Mark Wade was writing, of course. Mark Wade's writing this, but Mark Bagley's on with him. Mark Bagley, of course, you know is uh, Amazing Spider-Man and also the longest run ever with uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. um, he's taking a take on this. It's kind of cool. I uh, will see what happens. It's a DOA. I think uh, Banner's like d on the death door. He is. He got shot real good. Okay. All right. Who shot him? I don't know. I didn't read an instructor. Was it, was it a bomb? It was probably some guy with a gun. <laughs> Everybody. They gave Red Hulk a gun for a little yeah. while. It's a really big gun. So he got. He was shot, and they said the only way he can survive is as the Hulk. Uh -huh. But he's going to become Bruce Banner. But what kind of Bruce Banner will he be? Right. My guess is a shot one. Okay. Right. <laughs> We'll give him his purple heart of Hulk thumb. This is the first of two titles. It's going to be a Savage Hulk title coming out as well. So it'll be cool. Hulk should have more than one title. Hulk's popular enough. He should have more than one title. You know, I don't know why they... They just need to sell. They just need to put them this out. This is a number one. This is a new time to, to hop on. And Mark Wade. I mean, everybody loves Mark Wade. Yeah. He does a great job with Daredevil and everything else he writes, so we'll see. see what happens. That's um, another big week for, you know, uh, launching books. Sex Criminals... Trade paperback. I've been waiting for this. This is, you know, one of the hottest books on the market. Um, it's got that whole crowd with the people who buy Saga, East to West, Five Ghosts, you know, Black Science, you know, people buying that. And also, there's a new crowd buying this as well. It's a very controversial book. It's got great variant covers for the second, third, fourth, fifth printing. Incredible variant covers. Um, it's, you know, of course, Matt Fraction, super hot right now. And the reason why it's so awesome is it's because it's image and it's only $9.99. That's it, $10, five and issues. Awesome. I, I don't know why other companies don't do this. I don't know why Marvel's trade... Vertigo more. just started doing it. Vertigo started doing it, which is great. I don't know why Marvel doesn't do it. Marvel trades use like $40, and it's ridiculous. I don't know why. 10 bucks, put five issues in there. It's guaranteed sell. Even if somebody's on the fence about it, they're going to be, I'll try it out. It's 10 bucks. It's not a big deal. $10. Most most, the, most books are $4 a piece. So, 
uh, definitely, we we ordered stacks of these. They're gonna sell two five dollar footlongs. Except you can read it. You can't even read a sandwich. In this book. <laughs> well, if, if think about it. You know, <clears throat> we sell on average here like ten saga trades a week, and it's like everybody has to have this. No, they don't. And they keep buying it and buying it and buying it. And then when volume two and three come out, they're fifteen bucks. They still sell. Yeah. It's a great. Make it ten bucks. Are you listening? It doesn't. It's not that hard. Ten dollars. You're like that guy who like yells about stocks on TV. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're like Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, ten bucks. Like criminals. Batman. This is usually like the big book of the week, but it got bumped this week because of obviously Superior Spider-Man. Hulk's coming out. Batman 30. Some it's a new trades. arc. It's a, what? Some cheap trades too. <laughs> it's this is a new arc that they teased in the beginning. Is this the final arc of the? It is. The long. Uh, your your zero, zero, zero year. So in the very beginning, there's like a little kid. It reminds me of a what's that movie with Will Smith? Kind of keep it any more bland. It's the uh, the movie. <laughs> it's just like in every movie. Yeah. So that one, the movie about it was a book first. I am legend. I am legend. It's kind of like that. It looks like Gotham City. There's like grass growing. There's like a, like a jaguar like running through. I don't mean like the car. I mean like the animal. Yeah. And it's attacking some kid. And Batman shows up on like a dirt bike. And he's just like, what up? I'm going to fight animals and stuff. This is when he does that. Okay. This is dirt bike th th animal fighting. Okay. It's called Savage City. Will Smith will not be in this. So you know. That we know of. <laughs> he made his show it pop his head out. Is like everything cool here? So Savage City. So it's cool. It's wrapping up. It's one of those things. Uh, it's long, but nobody's complaining about it, It's which is good. I can't wait for this to be all nice and packaged up together. It's, it's going to be an awesome... Like trade on the best thing to sell forever. Let's so read it. If you want to read past Batman, read this. If you want to read current Batman, Detective is now awesome. Yeah, with Manipul, which a little Manipul, Manipul art was gorgeous. A detective. If you want a villain book to pick up, Sinestro number one comes. Yeah, out Sinestro too. number one comes out. Uh, they get rid of Larflees, which I don't think he deserves a book. Nice little character, but Sinestro, <coughs> he's kind of like on that Lex Luthor, Norman Osborn, Doctor Doom, Magneto thing. Like he's almost up there. Like he's kind of hero villain both. He's got a cute little outfit this time. I don't know about that, but um, <laughs> it's cool. Uh, give, give somebody a, fr a fresh start. Give him somebody a, a fresh a new book. So it's an Astro one comes out. We'll see how it goes. It's another Green Lantern book. People are like, oh my god, there's like ten of them, but people buy them, so it can't be that fast. He's off doing his own thing. Yeah, being evil, shooting yellow fists at people instead of green fists. Mm -hmm. very out Watch out for the yellow fists, Corey Brown. It'll get you. Yeah. So. There you go. Again, we're at Zap Comics. Yes. Dave's wearing a Spidey shirt. And that's that. Yes, that does wrap it up. Bye, guys. Go away. <laughs>